I want to know how has the atmosphere changed in New Orleans with like the booming film industry? I think you know I was part of an effort uh, when I was mayor, 21 years ago. We came to Los Angeles for the Oscars and gave a big New Orleans party to begin the process of cultivating movie, film, and television projects. Uh, and I think uh, 20 years ago, that groundwork has paid tremendous dividends, not only for New Orleans, but for the state, because there have been so many uh, projects that have been done in Louisiana, in New Orleans, and it's stimulated the economy and it's helped the creative side created opportunities for what I like to think of as a creative economy. So uh, I hope that the leadership of the city and the state will continue emphasizing the value of that. But uh, I'm proud that my administration was a big part of getting it started and, and that many since then have worked to continue it. Have you seen an influx of new people moving into New Orleans because of this opportunity in film? I think that New Orleans cultural and creative economy is a draw for creative souls, for musicians, for artists, for producers, uh, for people that are interested in architecture and culture. There's no place anywhere in the Western Hemisphere like New Orleans. Uh, it's America's original multicultural city. Uh, it's a city that blends the European with the African, with the Native American, with the Caribbean. Those cultures have all contributed mightily to what New Orleans and southeastern Louisiana. So it's, uh, it, I think it's been important that building that is important, not only for those that might come as new residents, <laughs> but for those that have been there for a very long time. So from your perspective, what story still needs to be told about New Orleans? There's so many stories that need to be told. The city will celebrate its 300th anniversary in 2018. That's going to be a very important milestone. Uh, and I think the history of New Orleans is the history of how it's overcome. It's overcome uh, slavery. It's overcome the challenges of reconstruction. It's overcome great hurricanes, uh, yellow fever epidemics tremendous challenges on the social and economic front, how the city has worked hard to overcome all of that to become the city it is today. But I don't think uh, you can think about it without thinking about everything that's left to be done. The unfinished business in New Orleans is significant. And what is that unfinished business? I think the unfinished business is really building a stronger economy to lift up the city's poor and working people. I really believe that uh, that that is the most important unfinished business, strengthening the system that educates and helps us to raise young people, uh, not only the public school systems, but the higher ed systems. I think that's really, really, I think, the most important unfinished business. And I also think unfinished business is for the city to understand and get beyond some of its racial divisions of the past by embracing its multicultural, uh, if you will, uh, multiculturalism as an asset, not just for the economy, but for the community fabric and for the civic fabric of the city. Awesome. Thank you so much for all of your answers.